You'll figure it out. I'll come out wherever you are. Want to turn? This feels good.
right, it's salvation time. Satan's using his magic to send souls skyward and downward into oblivion. That's where you come in. Catch the falling souls before they hit ground and use an arcane blast to free the souls rising upward. Of course, once you do that, you'll still have to catch them before they drift off to their death. Speed is key here. You'll get a bonus for every soul you can save before touching down. Now let's go save some clients. I mean souls. Four poor souls that need help. Gamey is that? Sorry. This is bad timing. God, this feels good. I gotta blast through that shield. Souls. Thank you. Let's see what these things can do. Johnny Gap. Souls. Things are starting to look up. Shield the saber. Nothing but a pawn, Gat. And today, I take you off the board. No one takes a shot at the boss and gets away with it. Maybe I can crush this thing. Looks like you kicked the dust off one of those ancient altars. Whenever you find the right power to activate one of these things, and let's be honest, you have four to choose from, it's not rocket science, you'll be imbued with the new arcane element for that power. This sounds too good to be true? Well, it kinda is. Once you steal the power from the altar, a bunch of guardians will appear and try to kill you. But if you use your new power to clear them out, it's yours to keep. The search was long, but in time our heroes discovered the ability to bathe their enemies in the holy light of the Lord.
God, this feels good. Me now to fix the damage those blasted imps did to my ship. You might want to swing by the old tour building. There's someone here you need to meet. On my way. Emboldened by the power of song, Jezebel set out to find the one man that could save her from her impending nuptials. Fortunately for her, Johnny's trail of destruction wasn't too hard to follow. One night with any lover, but you have to punch a panda. Do you do it? Ooh, good question. Um, Mr. Gat? Who are you? Well, I'm a... We're not doing that again. Oh, okay. I'm Jezebel. Good to know. What are you doing? Threatening you. You're not marrying the president. I don't want to marry the president. Well, that was easier than I thought. My dad's making me do it. What now? Now I'm holding you hostage. You don't need to do this. Yeah, that's what hostages always say. No, like, you really don't need to do this. I'm here to help you. Yeah, but I already have the gun drawn, so, uh... Are you kidding me? Maybe. I'm not sure yet. I'm kind of winging it. Can you wing it without the gun? Eh, it's a comfort thing. Not for me. What do you want? For you to put the gun down. Get used to disappointment. You sound like my father. What? He's always telling me that life is about misery, not happiness. That dreams only exist to make people forget about their own mediocrity. Man, that's depressing. Being the devil's daughter sucks. What do you want? I want to punch my dad in the face. We're gonna get along just fine. Of course, Jezebel was speaking metaphorically, but Johnny didn't notice. Jezebel was eager to help Johnny in any way she could, and vowed to find a way to sneak him into the palace. Johnny frowned at the seemingly arbitrary amount of time required for Jezebel to find a way to sneak him in. But he accepted the fact that without traditional missions, this was the best way to further the story. <laughs> <laughs>